Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, as some of you might know, Roblox has forced everyone to update to the latest version of Roblox, and that pretty much means that you cannot use the executors. Now, I do have the bypass to this, so make sure you watch the video to the very end so you don't miss out on any of the important steps, and let's get right into it. You will be needing four of these files to bypass the latest version of Bifron. All of these will be linked down in the description below. So when you do go to the download link, that will take you to my website like this. From there, go ahead and click on the download button, and that should take you to this page. Now, if it doesn't take you to this page and it opens up a pop-up, go back to the link and click it one more time. If it opens up another pop-up, then go ahead and simply click it for the third time, and that should finally take you to this page. From here, go ahead and complete these steps, and that will take you to the final download page. From there, you can go ahead and click on download now and go through the steps, and that will complete the download for you. Once you have downloaded four of these files, go back into your Roblox and click on play. If you're getting this error right here, then that's good. That's what we need. However, if you have already updated your Roblox to the latest version, then go ahead and simply close out of this and open up the download tool. And from there, go ahead and click on reinstall and click on reinstall one more time. And that will go ahead and downgrade your Roblox to the version that did not have Hyperion. The only issue is if you click on play, this time it will continue to just give you this error. But that is the error that we're looking for. Once you are receiving this error, go ahead and open up this Fiddler program that you would have downloaded from the description. If it gives you any errors, you can close out of that. If it asks you to download any certificates, make sure you go ahead and click on accept and download those. And from there, go ahead and click on tools and go into options and go into HTTPS and make sure you have selected this option by default, it will be turned off. So make sure you turn this on and then go ahead and click on OK. Once you've done that, go into the autoresponder tab and turn on enable rules. Once you turn this on, make sure you also check this and from there, go ahead and click on add rule. And in this tab right here, you want to paste the link that you downloaded. So go ahead and copy that and paste that in. From here, go ahead and click on this drop down over here. Make sure you don't select this drop down. Make sure it's the bottom one. Go ahead and click that and click on select a file. From there, go ahead and select the bypass file that you've downloaded. And then go ahead and click on save. Once you do that, you should see it added right here. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this one because I do have it as a duplicate. And once you have done that, you can now go into Roblox and click on play once again. And that should take you into Roblox without any issues whatsoever. And as you can see, it's loaded me in. From there, go ahead and grab any executor of your choice. In this case, I'm going to be using Lightning X. I have made a video on this, which you can find if you search my previous videos. And yeah, it's a completely keyless executor and it works, which is really, really good. And from there, go ahead and click on the inject button and you can load into any game of your choice and grab a script as well. All right, here we go. And once you are loaded into the game and you have pasted your script, you can simply go ahead and execute it. And as you can see, it is working without any issues whatsoever. Now, if you are struggling with this, guys, you can leave a comment and I will try my best to help everyone out. And with that being said, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you did like it. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.